Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to offer any type of product for rent in your site with our YID booking an appointment for WooCommerce plugin. We're going to replicate the electric scooter that we have in one of our live demos, but you can offer any type of product for rent on your site. You can offer sports equipment, cars, bikes, motorcycles, and more. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so I already have the plugin installed and activated on my site. What I'm going to do now is create that electric scooter for rent. So, let's go over to products at new and I'm going to name this product electric scooter I'm going to scroll down and add a product image set and I'm going to add another image to the product gallery there and I'm going to add a short description there now we're going to configure this bookable product okay we're going to go over to the product data tab and I'm going to expand here and select bookable product and I'm leaving this virtual feature selected because as you know, I am not sending the scooter to the customer. He's just going to be renting the scooter through the website. Now, under booking duration, I'm going to set customer can book units off seven days so the customer will have to book this electric scooter for a minimum of a week and if he wants to add more days he's just going to be able to add seven days so it's always going to be a week okay now we're going to move on to the booking cost section and for base price for seven days i'm going to set 120 dollars so one electric scooter for a week is $120 and I'm also going to enable this option the multiply by the number of people option why is this because I'm going to give the customer the option to select the number of people that are going to be booking the electric scooters now moving on to booking availability I'm not going to change this I'm just going to set all dates as bookable now I'm going to scroll down and right here under booking terms, we're going to set the maximum bookings per unit to 10. Why am I doing this? Because I have 10 electric scooters available, okay? So I cannot get more than 10 bookings because I wouldn't have enough scooters. Now, let's go to booking people and I'm going to enable the people option. This way, customers will be able to add the number of people that will be included in the booking. The minimum number of people is going to be 1 and the maximum number of people is going to be 10. And we're also going to check the count people as separated bookings option. Why am I doing this? Because this way, each person added to the booking is going to have his own electric scooter which means that it's another booking. It should count as another booking because as I said before, I only have 10 electric scooters. So I need to keep track of that. I need to prevent getting overbooked. This is how we make sure that we only allow customers to rent as many electric scooters as we have available, okay? Now we can go ahead and publish this product. And I'm going to click here so we can check out the product page. So here is my image. By clicking here, you can see that I can see the two images that I added, the specific product image and the gallery image. If I scroll down, I have the product's title, electric scooter, and the short description that I added before. Now we can do something to improve the way this image looks and also to see the second image that I added. Thanks to our Proteo team, we're going to be able to display both images as grid. So I'm going to click here on customize and I'm going to click on WooCommerce, bookable products. And I'm going to change the image to show us grid from one to two, there publish 
that's how it looks now thanks to our Proteo team I have both images that I added before displayed in a grid layout what I have to do now that I have all listed up is add my booking form right here so customers can actually book the electric scooter okay so I'm going to go back to the dashboard I'm going to go over to appearances widgets I'm going to scroll down to the shop sidebar and I'm going to add the bookable product form that's the one we're looking for update and let's go back to the product page refresh great so there's my booking form it's hundred and twenty dollars per week here's the calendar where I can choose when I want to book my electric scooter I didn't set any booking restrictions basically all days are bookable so customers should be able to choose any day from Monday to Sunday as long as we have an electric scooter available here you see that we already have the duration set to seven days a week and if I try to add a second unit automatically it adds up another seven days so that comes to a total of 14 days so as you see here it's 240 because it's 120 a week and it's two weeks and if I add another person to my booking I'm going to have those $240 that was the price for two weeks for one person is going to turn into $480 because it's two weeks for two people okay now I'm going to go ahead and create a cost so let's go over to the dashboard to ETH booking configuration costs and I'm going to add a cost which is going to be called insurance so I'm going to add insurance for each person that rents one of my electric scooters okay now let's add that to the product I'm going to go to products I'm going to edit my electric scooter product and I'm going to scroll down select booking costs scroll down again and here is my insurance cost okay I'm going to set this to $25 as this is a cost this is mandatory okay so every single time a customer rents an electric scooter he is going to have to pay those $25 for insurance I'm also going to select the option to multiply this by the number of people this way I'm going to charge $25 for insurance for each person included in the booking okay I'm not going to check this option multiply by duration this would be to also multiply the insurance cost for each booking duration so if it's one week it's just $25 once if it's two weeks it's $25 twice and so on but I'm not going to check this I'm going to update and back to the product page I'm going to refresh let's choose a date and here is my new extra cost insurance for $25 so you see that here in total we have the base price that is $120 per week plus the $25 for insurance for one person automatically added because extra costs are mandatory okay if I added a second person to this booking it would be $120 times 2 and the insurance would be $25 times 2 because I have two people and insurance for each one of them now here's another thing I have right here an add to cart button this is okay for regular products but when we're talking about a bookable service or product it actually sounds weird to have an add to cart button so what I'm going to do is change the label of this button and this is something that we can do from the plugins dashboard so we're going to go back to ETH booking settings customizations and we're going to scroll down to labels and right here you see that we have the add to cart option 
This is specifically the option to change the Add to Cart text in the labels for the bookable products. I'm changing this to Book Now. I'm going to save this and I'm going to show you another option. This one, redirect users to checkout. This one is also very useful because when we're referring to a bookable service or product, we don't want customers to go over to the cart page. It's really unnecessary. So what we're going to do is enable this. So once my customer clicks on book now, they're just going to be redirected to the checkout page, okay? Let's save this and let me show you how it looks right now. Refresh and I'm going to select a date. It's one week. I have the duration set right here, seven days. I'm going to add someone else to my booking. So I have the base price 240 because it is $120 per week for each person involved in this booking. So it's 120 times two. And then the insurance is 25 for each person. So it's also 25 times two, which comes up to a total of $290. I'm going to click here on my new book now button and I am redirected to the checkout page. As you can see right here, I have my orders detail, the name of the product, the duration, the date, how many people are involved in the booking and the subtotal. Okay, so that's how you can create a product for rent with our plugin. You can offer any type of product. You can offer electric scooters, bicycles, motorcycles, cars, sports equipment, and more. Okay, guys, so that's how you can create a product for rent with an extra cost. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.